All right, welcome back on our Monday evening. Take a look at our first look weather headlines. That is where we begin. Changes, changes as soon as tonight, but certainly tomorrow, the opportunity for very strong winds. Also a chance for showers late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Seasonally mild, meaning our number is going to be about 5 to 10 degrees above the norm for this time of year. Looks like through the next week or so, then I think we do take a dip. Those numbers starting to feel more like uh, what we'd expect this time of year. That's still about a week away, though. So in the meantime, let's take a look at our wind trend again. Very windy tomorrow starts as early as early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. We've got south southeast wind sustained 20 to 30 gusts to 35 plus miles per hour. We can see gusts of 40 plus around noon hanging in that region throughout the afternoon. 5 p.m. wind gusts 35 to 40 and again, even the sustained winds throughout the day are going to be strong out there. Those winds out of the south southeast throughout the day. 33 currently in Fargo feels like 28 out there when you factor in that light wind. More head coming in at 30 degrees. Grand Forks, beautiful day, nice evening, 29 degrees. Again, a little chilly out there, feels like 22. We take a look at our numbers. Here we go. What do we have around the region? Uh, generally speaking, between the upper 20s, mid 30s. 28 Rose, Ohalock, 29 in Bemidji, also in Grand Forks, 30 Oaks, 32 Jamestown, satellite and radar. A few. Clouds working their way through the region. Now what's going to happen is as clouds will quickly move in and out, uh, mostly clear through the overnight hours. Here's what we've got for you. Winds again. You see the blue areas, blue arrows. I should say once they shift to green, that's when we start seeing those stronger winds. So we're stopping at 7 a.m. And you can see it right here. That's where we're seeing a wind gust of 30, 30 plus miles per hour. It's going to help warm our temperatures up tomorrow into the upper 40s, even a few low 50s. And again, sunshine early. We'll start to see some clouds roll into the region as well ahead of our next system, which promises to bring at the very least a little bit of light rain to much of the area. Those showers really starting to pick up uh, right around this time or later tomorrow evening through Wednesday morning. As far as the wind gust timing, 7 a.m. You see these orange, these pockets, uh, these pockets of orange. That's wind gust of potentially 30 to 45 miles per hour. Yellow is 15 to 30. Notice it really blows up around the noon hour tomorrow. In fact, most of the region in that 30 to 45 range sticking around many areas 3 p.m. and again through 6 p.m. You see Lakes Country down through Sisseton still expecting those very gusty winds even through midnight uh, tomorrow night. So highs tomorrow 51 Oaks 51 Sisseton you see up 49 Fargo a lot of those 40s up on the board. Extended forecast Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. You notice here a lot of these showers kind of the scattered light variety, but they do start to pick up some in strength. Uh, Fergus Falls areas south there and east. So again, we do have a chance in some areas to see the potential for some heavier rain. Once you get Red River Valley and areas west, it is going to be much lighter. Here's a look at that 11 day planner. 50 on Wednesday, 49 Thursday, 50 Friday. So again, remaining warmer than normal. Then we talk about that drop next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're back in we're like the mid to upper 30s. There is a chance for a few snow showers middle and second half of next week. Keeping an eye on that, but right now nothing significant if we see any of that at all. Showers are okay as long as it's not a big storm. Just, um, Every day you add, that's <laughs> nice that's and easy on there. Right? Is no, a bonus. No big storms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coming up, interest rates are coming down.